Okay, let's talk about what neural network really does. So neural network is getting the data set with all the relationships in it. It's looking at the data set and it tries to bend it and it looks around and it's trying to find pattern. That way, basically what neural network does. And then based on the patterns that it finds, it will make predictions. And then you check these predictions with the actual label to see how the neural network does. And it's not only the data set that you can bend and move around and try to find pattern from it, you can also do this with the error. So for example, if you're doing a regression, we talked about MSE and MAE, and now for classification, we're gonna talk about cross entropy. Um, we talked about MSE and MAE before, but I'm gonna draw it again so you can see the comparison. Because MAE and MSE still can be used in classification. Okay, it's not that they cannot be used, but cross entropy does better and faster. Um, so, right now, okay, so this is zero and this is one. The true label here is one. So one is the correct answer. And this is our loss. So that means that when I'm closer to one, my loss have to be at the lowest level. When I am closer to zero, my loss have to be at the absolute, at the highest level. So another thing to keep in mind classification is that in the output of classification, we generally use activation functions like um, sigmoid or softmax. It's going to squish all the data between zero and one so because the probability of 0 to 100. So for that reason, we're just going to show what's happening between 0 and 1. And we said you can still use MSE and MAE in classification. So let's compare it and see why we decided that cross entropy is better. Um, so first, let me say the true label is one. So that means that when I am at one, um, that's the correct answer. So I'm going to start from here. If I get an actual one, that means my error is zero because the true label is one. And then um, first one that I'm gonna draw is just MAE. It's just in a straight line. Lu is MAE, okay? Green is MSE, which is mean square error. So the way that mean square error, mm, the way that mean square error goes, it's even worse than MAE. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be slower growing here, and then after that, it's going to uh, reach MAE. And then I'm gonna put. Um, cross entropy here, I'm just going to put a CE. Since I'm using log, this value is going, when you're going close to zero, this is going to go extremely fast. And then when you're going, it just suddenly skyrocket. So we're talking about classification. This is the probability for the classification. So that way the learning happens faster so it can faster reach the true label, okay? If you're using something like MSE or um, MAE, as you can see, they are very slow and it doesn't matter, for example, this one when it is wrong, when it is very wrong, the curve becomes much steeper. That means learning happens more. If, if for any reason you couldn't use cross entropy, MAE is actually going to do better than MSE because you generally think that, oh, so MSE is faster than MAE. But we are talking about the values between zero and one. So the values that are smaller than one, MSE is going to grow slower. For example, square of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. So that means that it will get smaller. So that is why it's going to be slower than MAE. If you want to sum it up, the way that you're gonna choose your activation functions, uh, your loss function, or any other function that you want in neural network, you kind of have to understand how you want your data to be bent. Right now, we want it that whenever the lot, whenever 
uh, the values vary wrong. Our loss wants to be extremely high, so that's why we chose to cross entropy. And when you're going to the values bigger than one, and you want to, and you want to penalize outliers very much, you have the bowl shape that is given to you by MSE. That's why you're using that. If you don't want uh, that much to be affected. Uh, by the outliers then you're going to use something like MAE because it doesn't cause drama it doesn't just suddenly uh, shape a ball but it's like a straight line